God is good, and with each day that passes, brings us a day closer to the launch of Pantheon Rise of the Fallen. And today, we can really feel how true that really is. Visionary Realms announced on October 14, 2021, how they are creating the world now that they have their HDRP pipeline and tools at the ready, and how they are able to remove gray boxing entirely from production. The way they can now create terrain and architecture in a seamless way. Now, it is worth mentioning that these development abilities are a mix between switching from using Houdini to using Gaia and also the custom tools Rob has created. If you missed the announcement that Pantheon is now a seamless open world, I made a video about that yesterday and I highly recommend you check that out because it's outrageously awesome. Now, before we dive in, please drop me a like to get this video to the faces of other Pantheon fans. Let's hear from the awesome sponsors of this channel, the members of Napalm, before we begin. Before we begin, I want to give a major shout out to the members of Napalm. I could not do this without you. You are the sponsors of this channel, and I thank you for your contribution, allowing me to keep making videos on MMOs, RPGs, and of course, puppets. If you are interested in becoming a member of Napalm, please click the join button down below. It is greatly appreciated. And a very special shout out to the lords of Napalm, Bounty Code, We Tote Bitcoins, Jared Woodhouse, and Dimelos. Thank you for your highest tier membership. Visionary Realms is no longer using Houdini for creating terrain. This doesn't mean that the previous work is scrapped, everything they made before with Houdini is still being used. All it means is that with Gaia that they are using now, it is a less complicated process and is much faster. So going forward, they are using Gaia. On top of this, they have better support from Gaia and a better relationship with the Gaia team. By using Gaia and on top of that with custom tools Rob has made, they can now create unique landscapes or in other words, build the world in a way that is shockingly fast. So fast, in fact, there is no reason for them to continue to gray box at all. They can now create large swaths of complicated landscapes at an astonishing rate. Now, they can also transform the gray box areas already created fast as well. It was stated by Joppa that within one day, they can turn an entire gray box zone into this much better finished work. Now, when I say finished, of course, that doesn't include the details. But from what we learned earlier, they have many, many details to use and then add on top of that, the artistic touch to give it a truly unique feel. Rob shows off slapping a Mario 64 looking blob and then converting it into a beautiful mountain using his tools and with many options for textures that change the look and presentation instantaneously. He zipped around creating what looked completely excellent in a matter of seconds. Now before you run off and make an MMO this weekend, understand that most of the tools he was using to turn complicated processes into clicks of buttons are custom and created by himself, Rob. He then went on to to show off their new cave cutter tool. Once again, a custom built tool that Rob can use to carve caves that are not only practically drag and drop, but then adjust themselves to connect together in believable ways. In other words, when he zoomed in, the rocks fit together really well and it looked great. Now, of course, they would go in and add some fine tuned details like here when he added the entrance rocks, but of course, a little bit of artistic touch to everything, but you can still see how fast it is to get some things together. Now, these once again are the start of building the basic design of the zone, even though zones are now seamless, there is no loading anymore between switching areas. For the sake of explaining, and for the sake of the way they are building the areas, they essentially still are zones. You, the player, will no longer notice the zone switches as you're moving around, but I digress. Basically, what they have done here is a Lego-type build that is so easy to use thanks to Rob's custom tools. More people on the development team can now help with creating new areas. Joppa goes on to implicate just how fast the process is now. There was a ton of hard work that has went into this in the past to make it smoother and faster from here. The other great advantage with this process is that the demand on your system, the performance takes way less of a hit, apparently. They also go into explaining that these tools can be tweaked and changed to fit the lore and story and history of that area they are working on, and also to keep things from looking the same across the entire world. And on top of that, with Gaia, making unique artistic touches, those small hand adjustments are seamless and cost them much less time. So if the erosion added to a model doesn't meet the lore, they can hand tweak it and make it look like they want. They talk about it is still very much a handcrafted world that procedurally generated worlds just does not hold a candle to the beauty of a handcrafted world. So these tools just simply make it faster for them to handcraft the world. Joppa explains how they can take any complication of creation imaginable and use these tools to make it in, in a speed previously impossible. So to wrap it all up, what all this means is that they can create the continents of Terminus for Pantheon Rise of the Fallen in 
a much faster and a more streamlined way, which means that the overall development time is looking good. Joppa said that the speed they are now creating the world is exceeding expectations, which suggests they are now getting ahead of their schedule, which is of course excellent news because it suggests that the game will be in our hands faster thanks to their hard work and smart business practices. I would like to go on to state, had they not done the refactor, I do not believe doing these types of pipelines would have been possible, and the former process was way more system hungry, so the performance is incredibly better and now they have more detail than previously possible as well. So it is all very great news and it looks like the stress of creating this huge world has diminished. Now Visionary Realms can create the exact world they have envisioned at an incredible speed. Much of the progress on land we will not see, as to not spoil and ruin the entire game of course, but behind the scenes we can rest assured that they are now zipping through production of the land masses. And I don't know what could get fans of Pantheon more excited than to hear Joppa say that they are exceeding expectations on world production. Making an entire world can take its toll on any developer, and it doesn't take much research to come to the conclusion that it is a massive undertaking, and one that I am so grateful they are handling with such finesse. If you are interested in a real tab target, difficult, rewarding, and innovative MMO with the feels of a classically spirited MMO, a world to get lost in and discover new things with systems that have never been done appropriately in any MMO before, climbing virtually any surface, disposition so mobs vary and change, a seamless open world, quests and secrets hidden and sprinkled everywhere, high attention to detail, story, history, and tons of lore, then please head on over to PantheonMMO.com and click that pledge button. For every dollar given to Visionary Realms, the more people they can hire on their team, which means the faster we can get this game in our hands. And when they ask who referred you, make sure you tell them you were sent by your old pal, the Nathan Napalm. We have seen incredible progress of Pantheon Rise of the Fallen, and they have stuck true to the original vision in a way that is remarkable to say the least. This is a group of hardworking people at an indie company fighting against the odds to make so many of our MMO dreams come true, and hats off to them for continuing the good fight through the thick and thin. We love you Visionary Realms, and we are so excited to play your new MMORPG that it is actually painful. And if you enjoy my content, first make sure you are using a throwaway mouse and then smash that subscribe button so hard it shatters into molecules. And leave me a comment about what you think of their new tools and world creation. And of course, hit that like button to help me reach a wider audience. Until next time though my friends, God bless and happy gaming.